Hi, I'm Hape Johnson and welcome to our YouTube channel. I am so excited about today. I'm so excited today because I'm gonna teach you how to take curly hair to straight hair. But before I get started, let me not be rude. Let me welcome all the new time visitors. So hi, if this is your first time visiting us today. Listen, do me a favor. You want to be in the know. You want to find out great tutorials, how-to videos, DIYs. You'll learn all of that on the La Host channel. So all you have to do is push the subscribe button. Go to the notification, which is that bell. You know, that little ding, ding. You know, you're in a meeting and then the bell go off. Push it and I will notify you every time we put a great, amazing video up. And so today, well, we're gonna be learning how to take curly hair to straight hair. We're gonna teach you how to take curly hair to straight hair without it being all frizzy and all out of control and so that you don't always look in your best at all times. Because you know what? Come summertime, you really wanna enjoy life with the curly hair. It's really easy, it's convenient, but you know, for those sophisticated nights, you wanna go out, you wanna hang, you wanna kinda, you know, let those curly locks go really, really straight. But you wanna do it in a way where it's not all over the place or frizzing up. So what's the key? What's the secret? I'm gonna tell you the secret. The secret is the right products. You have to have the right products. If you don't, anybody with curly hair knows. The right products will make or break you or make or break that day of a good hair day or a real crappy hair day. So you need the right products and you also need the proper temperature. And that's what a lot of people don't know. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it if it's growing, what temperature you need if it's growing out of your human hair because hair in a bundle can take a lot more heat than hair growing out of your scalp. And so when you use the same flat iron for your wig or your bundles or your human hair, you're gonna find out that your hair from your scalp is gonna break off quicker because it dries up and it burns off. So I hope that was helpful. But what I wanna do, again, I wanna show you how to take curly hair to straight hair into it's just bouncing and behaving. So like if I, this is a curly wig. So actually if I wet this wig down, it's curly. So how did I get it so straight? How did I get it so bouncy? Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to actually properly wash a curly wig. It is so vital that you understand this process because if not, you can really tangle up a curly wig. And a lot of times we invest good money in our bundles and our wigs and you know, if it's not properly um, prepared right for washing, that's gonna be your telltale sign. Rather, you can ruin the hair or you can help the hair stay in great condition. So let me get started. You're gonna start with lukewarm, a little bit warmer than a lukewarm. And as you see, I flipped the wig inside out. I'm gonna wet it. And what this is gonna do is help me to control the wig. So after I wet it down, I'm then gonna flip it back inside out. I'm going to constantly, you're gonna see me constantly combing through this wig. Why is because you do not want this to tangle while it's wet. Hair is more fragile when it's wet, so you wanna be very careful. I'm just gonna squeeze, and that's it. I'm just squeezing the excess out. I'm going to flip it back in. One reason, again, why you wanna always flip a wig back in is because it gives you ultimate control over the hair. I'm going to use our La Hose Clarifying Shampoo. This is an amazing shampoo. I love this shampoo. I put about a quarter size in. I'm gonna pick the wig up. I'm just going to take the shampoo. First thing I'm gonna do is take the shampoo over the back of the cap. Why is because this is what's picking up all the sweat, the oil, perfume, all of the perfume and um, lotions and stuff is like, like that is usually around the back of the nape. So I wanna make sure that I saturate those areas with a lot of shampoo. Clarifying shampoo has a tendency of taking off all the products. This clarifying shampoo gets it out of this wig and this is what helps the hair to stay uh, nice and healthy and shiny and it has a lot of bounce in it. Again, this works on your hair. So if you have a lot of buildup, how you know if you have buildup? You have buildup if your hair is stiff. After you wash it, it doesn't have any body, it's not moving. That means it's loaded down with tons and tons of product. 
So this clarifying shampoo would be a great product for you to use if you wanna put the bounce back in your hair and it keeps your hair nice and healthy, nice and clean. So now let's put on our conditioner. Okay. And I love our Cool Cleanse Moisturizing Conditioner because it restores the pH balance back into the hair and you really don't need a lot. So that's about a, about a dime size. And it's mentholated, so this is amazing, ladies, for your own hair. If you have a lot of itching scalp or uh, dandruff, this is really, really good. It has a lot of healing agents or a lot of healing uh, properties that are in there to really, like tea tree uh, that cuts down your dandruff. Those are the things that you want to make sure that's in your conditioner if you have a lot of scalp issues or scratch or a lot of itching or dandruff buildup. This really will soothe your scalp. Remember, healthy scalp, healthy hair, healthy hair, long hair. Just gonna finalize this with cold water. And this is how we make the hair shine. And it seals that cuticle back up. Why is that important? When your cuticle is sealed up with the right, uh, uh, with the right product, you'll see hair growth. And I'm not really twisting, I'm just squeezing the wig. And I'm done here. I'm going to put it in my towel. We're going to use our Unlock, which is our hair detangler, which is amazing. This is amazing, I promise you. You have to get the Unlock. The Unlock is our number one seller. The reason why you need it, the value that it adds, it, it keeps your hair moisture. It, it keeps your hair moisturized. It also seals the cuticle back down because I've sealed it with the cold water, but then this puts the moisture inside and outside that cuticle, as well as detangle. So I'm just gonna put a couple of sprays throughout this, just like that. And I'm gonna comb through again, which, and that helps you keep the moisture. So I'm gonna lay this right there. This is how you dry a wig. You then roll it, just like this. Trust me, this is how you want to do it. After all these years, I had to learn the hard way of how to properly wash and dry wigs. What you do is you're wringing out the water, but yet not allowing the hair to tangle or to strip the cuticle of the moisture. So you're basically keeping the hair nice and moist. done. Only thing I have to do now is put her under the dryer. All right, now that she's dry, it's time to curl. All right, so now I'm ready to curl and show you the secrets of really, this is how you take curly hair to straight hair, but flawless straight here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna spray a uh, crystal laminate. We're gonna spray that on there. You don't need a lot. That's the all other thing. You really, really don't need a, not a lot. The other thing what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a fine tooth, tooth comb. So I use a bow, uh, it's fine and a wider teeth. I always use the finer teeth when I'm stop or when I'm curling, okay? Reason why that is important is because when you put that heat on that hair, it's going to freeze, it's going to seal up that cuticle. And what the laminate does is, again, as you hear me keep saying in this video, seal cuticles, seal cuticles. Cuticles being sealed is vital because if your cuticles are not sealed, that's where you get a lot of your breakage. So you wanna make sure that your cuticles are sealed. Okay, so now let's talk about temperature professionally. You're gonna need a flat iron to hit temperatures up to 450. Those are more your professional tools. So if you wanna take your hair game to a whole nother level, if you are a professional, you have to use professional tools. So if you're, you're saying, well, no, I'm not professional, but I don't wanna use that much of a heat on my hair, I agree with you. So what you can do, you can stick with 375 as your average 
uh, temperature you want to use on medium fine, uh, medium coarse, all of those um, type of textures really take very well to those temperatures. But the tighter your curl is or the more coarse your hair is, the more kinkier your hair is, you can withstand heat up to 450 as long as it's natural and not relaxed. So this is the key. The temperature that I have, it is 450. This is the secret. Once you put the hair in the flat iron together, you're gonna move very, very, very slow. A lot of times, when people flat iron, it just kinda go down, and it does get flat. However, what are we doing? We're sealing the cuticle, and we're styling the hair. And with that product that I sprayed on there, I'm using that product to seal this hair. So I'm just gonna go down just like that, and there's a curl. So again, the secret is moving really, really, really slow. And the steam that you see, that is steam, and that is not from the product. That's steam, that's water that I'm releasing from the hair, so when humidity hits it, it won't swell up. It's just gonna stay nice, smooth, flat, and shiny, just the way you want it. Okay, so we got a perfect curl right there. I'm just gonna hit it one more time, and then I'm done. Again, you gotta move pretty slow. Just like that. Okay, so this portion of the video, I've really kinda showed you the secret of the method of how I'm gonna curl the whole head. The secret is moving slow, and using your crystal laminate one layer at a time. So as I spray, I curl, I spray, I curl. So I'm gonna speed the video up from, from this point on, I'm just gonna speed the video up so you can watch me. So we're done with our curling. And basically, I just put some nice big curls in there, as you see. I'm going to, again, spray some of our crystal laminate in there for the final. And I'm just gonna pull just a little bit to show you what those curls look like. As you see, it's nice and shiny. Just comb it out. And again, ladies, if she does get caught in the humidity, this wig or you in the wig, if it gets caught in the humidity, it's not going to um, swell up because you did everything you were supposed to do. So this is the final look. I hope you like it. I'm Hayes Johnson. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I like to make it for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to push the notification because every week we're gonna be uploading great, amazing videos. Hey, let's me and you stay connected. Leave me a comment down below and uh, I hope you have questions. And if you need a video done by La Host Hair and Wigs, by the experts, we will make sure that video get done for you as soon as possible. Thanks again. I hope that this taught you something.